When trying to animate a screw in Fusion, you run up against the fact that a revolve or cylindrical joint cannot be rotated more than 360 degrees. This is okay for most assemblies, but for a screw, it is disastrous because it resets. Let's take a do example here on this one. You'll notice that it moves just fine, but then after 360, it resets, which is not desirable. In this video, I want to show you a easy method of adding a small assembly and a text command to make this a usable process. Let's get started. My method is to insert a small assembly which contains a joint which can then be hooked with a motion link into the rotational joint of the or section of the drive screw cylindrical joint. I chose a slider joint I have included in the slider engine. I save this side I can use it over and over in any joint which has a screw that needs animation. I'll go ahead and break that link which is not required but I'm just going to do it anyway. Now in this one you'll see a slider joint. I will hook that into the cylindrical or rotational part of the cylindrical joint. First thing I want to do is ground the base component of this new assembly so it won't move around and then I'm going to go ahead and make my motion link. Under assembly, motion link between the slider joint and the drive screw. Now I want to be sure that I get the slider going against the rotation of the cylindrical joint so I'll be sure and check it. Rotational Z. Right now I'm going to leave it at 0.3937 which is default coming in at 360 degrees and I'll then say OK. I'll then test my motion link by right clicking on the slider and animate joint. Well you see it's going the wrong way so I need to stop a second and go back into my motion link and edit the direction. So I just need to reverse it and say OK. Let's try again and you'll see it's going the right way but it's going too fast and the motion is too far. So I'll, I'll stop that command and I'll edit the slider joints. In order to change the movement of the screw I'll go into the slider joint and change its limits. Right now it's from 0 to 14 inches. I'll cut that 14 back to 8 and say OK. Now we'll test again. Looks good. I just need to slow it down. That's done with a hidden text command in Fusion. The text command is entered by using the text command dialog box which can be found under File, View, Show Text Commands. Make sure that you're in text mode, you'll see at the end down here, you will be typing in this column right here. The command is Fusion with a capital F, period, joint with a capital J, no space, animation, capital A, N I M A T I O N, and time, capital T I M E, again with no space. Put a space next, and the next thing will be a, a number, which represents a number of seconds. Default is 3, so you want to go probably up in the 25 range. Let's try 25 and see how that looks. Hit enter, and you'll see it OK. It accepted it. We'll go ahead and close our dialog box. You can use Control alt c to close it if you desire. You can also go back and use the same command you did to open it. So if we go to the slider joint and animate it, you can see it's working very nicely, a little slower, but it's not quite slow enough. So we'll go back and change our variable. Okay, we'll go back to our text commands. Again, under view, show text commands. You'll then type the same command over again. If you want to, you can highlight the top one and copy and paste. 
I'll just type a capital F U S I O N period capital J O I N T animation capital A N I M A T I O N capital time T I M E. This time I'm going to put a space and put 35 seconds. Hit enter, you'll say it's okay. Go ahead, I'm going to close my dialog box by hitting Control Alt C. I'll try once more to driving my joint and that looks good. As you can see the screw is moving out very nicely, very smooth and easy to comprehend. When the slider joint gets to the end of its travel it will reverse and go the other way. Now you can add as many of these assemblies as you want for multiple screws or you can drive them all off the same one. It's up to you. The last step in doing it for this process is to take and hide the driving assembly. Nobody is the wiser. You can still go back to the slider and animate it with no problem. I hope you helped you do better work in Fusion 360.